Today we will see about the steps of CAPD catheter removal. This is a CAPD in the patient. Regarding the parts of it, we will be discussing in a separate video. In gross, this is the this is the catheter, the titanium adapter. This is this is the transfer set twist clamp. This is the part of the catheter. This is the exit side. And as we see here, the catheter is going in like this. Here we can see there are two cuff. This is the catheter. Usually it is a 42 centimeter for an adult patient. Here the transfer set is attached in the titanium cap. This is the catheter proper exit side. And there is one cuff over here and another cuff over here. Suppose if we want to remove this CAPD catheter, dissecting this cuff is most important for this catheter removal. Usually the procedure have to be done by an open technique. And considering the practical issues, we can remove by this blind technique also where we will be dissecting this and removing the catheter. First step is this entire area have to be clearly sterilized with the beta dain and at the exit site over here this area have to be given local infiltration because the catheter somewhere might be here so that can be palpated and sorry the cuff was of this first cuff superficial cuff is supposedly somewhere over here if we palpate it that can be palpated so once we palpate the superficial cuff dissect with the artery forcer till we reach the cuff cut out the cuff from these adhesions this the supposed patient is having this for more than two or three months the adhesions will be more the adhesions have to be dissected once the adhesions are dissected just we have to rotate the cuff and pull it. This is the image of one catheter today we removed. This is the titanium adapter transfer set twisting clamp. This is the catheter. We are having this superficial cuff and the deep cuff. In this patient the superficial cuff was somewhat within 3 to 4 cm from the exit side. After dissecting it, we pulled it. Pulling that part is the most difficult part of the CAPD catheter removal. How to pull it? Here I am showing a demo. With the one hand, you have to give pressure to the abdomen. Suppose if the patient is lying over here. Suppose if the patient is lying like this. The catheter, this is the catheter we have to rotate in our hand like this so that it will be more power can be given through the pulling and this left hand or one hand have to give pressure to the abdomen like downward pressure with this you pull it usually this catheter are very resistant to break so it won't break only while dissecting the cuff if you are using a blade if it damages the cuff, at that time there is a chances of breakage of the catheter. So that's why dissecting the superficial cuff is very important. Once the superficial cuff is dissected, just we have to give the maximum pull like this, the catheter will come on its own. So this is the procedure of CAPD catheter removal. Regarding the catheter parts, length of the catheter, how to insert in a pediatric patient, that will be discussed in a separate video.